Ministers of religion dying violently in Jamaica is not a new thing, as a few such cases have popped up over the years. But in the last five to six years, the number of pastors who have been killed in Jamaica has been trending upwards, and a few have even been killed in the church. Teach them! Always make sure the message I reach them! In September of 2015, 39-year-old Pastor Delroy Roper of Land Lease District in Papine was shot dead while he was delivering a sermon at the Christ Revival Mission Church in Mudtown, Papine St. Andrew. Roper is said to be the brother of the reputed young leader, Joel Andem. Reports from the Papine police are that about 10 p.m., a gunman entered the church, walked up to the pastor, and shot him in full view of the congregation. The gunman then escaped on foot in the area. Pastor Roper was taken to hospital where he was pronounced dead. In September of 2018, 29-year-old Pastor James Johnson, a member of the Church of God of Prophecy, located on Old Arbor Road in St. Catherine, was shot and killed by a gunman inside the church. Reports are that at about 5 p.m., Johnson was teaching a class with students at the church when a lone gunman entered the building and opened fire, hitting him multiple times. The man then fled the area. Johnson was rushed to hospital where he was pronounced dead. In May of 2020, residents of Top Hill in Junction, St. Elizabeth, were left in shock after the partially decomposed body of a popular pastor was found at his home with multiple chop wounds. The murdered church leader was identified as 40-year-old Patrick Brown, who was a pastor at the Exton New Testament Church of God, also in Junction. After not seeing Brown for a few days, residents became suspicious when they noticed that his Toyota Axio motor car, which was normally parked in his yard, was missing. Calls to his phone also went unanswered. When he did not show up at church, a member of the congregation visited Brown's house and reportedly saw swarms of flies coming from a window. There was also an order. She raised an alarm and the police were summoned. In September of 2020, the Anglican Church community in Jamaica was rocked by the murder of 36-year-old priest Laurius Lewis in Chapleton, Clarendon. His body, with its hand and feet reportedly bound, was found by church officials at St. Paul's Anglican Church Rectory in Chapleton, where he was assigned. In March of 2021, the headless body of pastor 40-year-old Kenneth Andre Reed was discovered by residents in Hanover. Reed, who is originally from Lucy in Hanover but was residing in St. Catherine, was last seen after leaving to clear a plot of land on which he intended to build a house. And most recently in July of this year, the 17-year-old son of a Westmoreland-based pastor was taken into police custody as the main suspect in the death of his father who was killed in his sleep at their Petersfield home. The deceased father was identified as 45-year-old Garnet Foster, the pastor of the Church of God of the Mountain Assembly, which is also located in Petersfield. Reports by the police are that about 5 a.m., the accused son informed his uncle and grandmother who lived next door that he had discovered his father lying in a pool of blood inside his room with a knife sticking from his neck. The relatives immediately rushed over and when they entered Foster's room, they found him covered in blood with stab wounds to his upper body. He was rushed to the Savannah Lamar Hospital, where he died while being treated. Teach them! Hey, yo, yellow! Send the message and make it reach them. It's teach them right here. Warlord representing. Thank you for watching. Like the video before you go. Please subscribe if you haven't done so. And remember to share the video with your friends and family. And browse the channel for more quality content. Until next time, walk good, my friends. Teach them!